Today we're in DeSoto County. What we're going to do is talk a little bit about our Ag Swim program. We've been farming watermelon for two generations. My name is Steve Reese. For farmer Steve Reese, a quality crop goes hand in hand with quality water in and around his fields. I am concerned about the environment. Which is why Reese has been working with the Southwest Florida Water Management District's agricultural team and the Ag Swim program since nearly the beginning. We've been doing a plan for 28 years consecutively. It's just hugely benefited us. The irrigation system is the water coming through the drip tape underneath the beds. I'm Jeff Wilton. I work for the Southwest Florida Water Management District and I'm the environmental scientist on the district's agricultural team. Do you farm this area every year? I'm Mark Lucty. I'm an agricultural engineer with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. Water quality is one of our areas of responsibility at the Water Management District. AgSWIM is an acronym which stands for Agricultural Ground and Surface Water Management. It's a program that utilizes BMPs to assist farmers in crop layout. A BMP is a best management practice that farmers implement to create an environmentally sustainable agricultural operation. The program is funded by the Water Management District and it's designed to assist the farmer in farm field layout. The Exxon program began in 1989 with some discussions with the uh, Agricultural Advisory Committee and the growers in the area and the Natural Resource Conservation Service, the NRCS. And we collaboratively came up with a plan to have an exemption process instead of permitting. The program allows faster decisions and turnaround times by the district and reduces application fees and costs to the farmer. As we progress, with our irrigation systems and you know, trimming water use. It lets the field be more efficient and the quality of the melons be better. And those go through your filter strips. District staff help create a design for farmers that works best for the farmer and the environment. There's three different types of ag swim projects that we routinely see. This watermelon field is a temporary farming operation. Some of the things we'll see on this farm are setbacks from wetlands. A wetland setback, or in other words, a wetland buffer, provides that distance necessary from the farming operation to the wetland, which allows for uh, the water to be treated before it gets there, which increases water quality. When you have larger buffers, you have more time for the runoff to percolate into the soil. Sediment is trapped in the, in the vegetative filter strips and it doesn't migrate downstream to our receiving waters. We also have projects called ordinary farming operations, which usually are blueberry fields and citrus fields, for example. So at other operations, for instance, like blueberry fields, you'll see setbacks from the wetlands, the same as we have here. We'll also see grass conveyance swells that transport the water and treat the water at the same time. And we also see tailwater recovery ponds, which utilize the same water that the farmer just irrigated with, and they'll reuse that, which provides a much more efficient process. And then we have a permanent category of ag swims, which are usually those projects that involve plastic mulch crops like strawberries or other row crops that are more permanent in nature. It raises the sugar content up in the melons. Our relationship has been more like a team than anything because I'm able to give them input of the little things that I learn each year. I think he appreciates what we bring to the table and we certainly appreciate a farmer who, who's willing to do the right thing to create these environmentally sustainable agricultural operations. This is what everybody looks for. Working together, growing relationships for the good of the region's water resources. Y'all did yourself, Steve. And of course, delicious watermelons. That's good.